Hi, my name is Steph and um, we are here in Milan. Now we are the old day around the city and what I want to show you are the best places to stay in Milan. There are a few areas which are fantastic for one day, two days, staying with the family and other areas that uh, probably shouldn't be touched, it shouldn't be uh, the place to go. So stay with me and let's go around Milan. You say you wanna dance You're worried, you know You'll end up in the wrong hands in your hand. Here I am in the center of Milan I started with a Duomo Square which is right in front of me and I will show it to you Now I am in Corso Vittorio Emanuele II which is the main shopping area of Milan We have shops left and right now Staying in the center of uh, Milan means uh, you are so close to all of the attractions, the main attraction. It's all about sightseeing. Um, we talk about the shopping area, but if you know, if you come with me now, you see on this direction the Duomo, there is the uh, gallery, uh, Vittorio Emanuele gallery right there, and we're gonna go through it. You can take the aperitivo in the Terrazza Aperol, which is also there. So it's all about living in Milan and experiencing Milan. And the best is, it's all in walking distance. You don't, you don't need to take any metro. So it's perfect for two, three day stays. The drawback, is always a drawback, it's a little bit more expensive than other areas. But you don't have to pay for metro and transportation, and you don't, you're not gonna waste time on the transportation itself. So now, let's have a look around and then we move to the next place which is Brera. I am in Brera. Brera is um, uh, an area just next to uh, the center of Milan, next to Duomo. It's actually 10 minutes, 15 minutes walking distance. But the beauty of this area is that it's all in a boutique size. As you can see here on my back, all of the uh, buildings are back to the 18th century, two, three floors, as it used to be Milan, you know, many, many years ago. It's all cobblestones, the streets, so beautiful. Um, on top of it you will find plenty of boutique restaurants and cafes where you can have your own breakfast so the usual cappuccino is beautiful and a cornetto uh, i really suggest this area to stay if you want to live more as a local compared to the city center where tourism is obviously uh, everywhere um, now cost wise it's a little bit expensive or as expensive as uh, um, center of milan uh, there's not much difference really, uh, but you have really a Milan experience. Let's move on. I don't need to tell you that it's over. And I know if I come any closer. I don't need to tell you that it's over. And I know if I come any closer. Here I am in San Marco. San Marco is an area between Garibaldi Station and Brera. Now, what's good about this area? It's between two parts. Uh, there is the Castello Sforzesco Park or Simpione Park, and on the other side we have the Montanelli Gardens. It's beautiful and green. So if you are in a family trip, then probably this is the place you're looking for because you can mix a little bit of a site visit with a little bit of a playground, you know, and running around and playing the gardens. Uh, the distance from here to the city centre, it's about 20 to 25 minutes walking distance. But the good thing is that there are four metro stations here. So really, it's hard to beat as an area and it's less expensive than Brera and the others. It may be not appealing and uh, with character as Brera or as the city centre, but you know, you have to give up on a little bit if you want to have a cheaper price, but greener area. As you see here around, uh, you see a mix of buildings which are 
more from a new sort of early 70s and some old buildings as they used to be. And this is one of the few petrol stations actually, which is right in the city center. So if you're driving here, keep in mind you have a petrol station somewhere. Gaulet. This is the square that connects Porta Nuova with the Stazione Garibaldi, the Garibaldi station. This is a great place to stay for one day because you are next to the station and that's where you want to be if you want to get straight away to the airport the day after. Now, this area is also good for nightlife because in the last few years it's been absolutely refurbished and there are plenty of bars in the night, especially if it is uh, Via Como, which is incredible, full of people. In summer, it's absolutely beautiful as well as in winter. A uh, couple of discos around, so it's a good place definitely for nightlife. As you see here on my back, there is a bit still of the old style Milan. But as you turn around into the square, what you will see is the new Piazza Gaulenti with incredible building from the bank and uh, beautiful architecture where we do also some new photos here. I'm quite excited about this place. Lots of changes in the last, in the last 20 years. Uh, it's quite amazing. A must see place. <laughs> Assoluto deserto. Is this area expensive? Probably not as expensive as the Land Center or Lera, but it's becoming expensive. Uh, and if you can see all around, it's all new, it's all brand new, and you know, very trendy, very fashionable. But still, you can find some bargain around. E mi sento, mi sento distante, e mi sento straniera, ti amerei, ti amerei di più, se ti cono. MS in the central station area. Now, this is probably the best area to stay if you are on a budget. There are plenty of hotels around which are very good budget, value for money and it's also a perfect location if you want to stay in the city for one day, for one night, because from here you can take a train directly to the airport, either Malpensa or the, um, to Odeo Serio. Uh, to Odeo Serio is actually a bus. Uh, there are other buses that go to Linate, so it's very well connected to any mean of transportation. And if you take a train to any other city in Italy, number one place to be. Um, What's around here is also the central station itself. This is one of the best actually attractions of Milan in my opinion, especially if you are into photography. It's a beautiful building and once you go inside you will see why. Uh, so what I do now, I go inside and I take some photos too because I really want to see. It's a long time, I haven't seen it and uh, it's been just refurbished. Let's see how it is. Okay, we've been through the central station. I walked a little bit through this area. I like the area. It's a bit busy. Um, I prefer the central area, but of course, accommodation are a little bit more expensive. Now, let's get the metro and we go to Navigi. Navigi is probably the only area in this selection which is not central to Milan, but it's fantastic. You will see it. Not plenty of character and uh, fantastic for nylon. So let's check it out. You say you wanna dance. You're worried, you know, you'll end up in the wrong hands. You're having fun. And here we are in Navigi. Um, this is an area that gets very lively during the night. So I really suggest it. 
if you are into nightlife, if uh, you're traveling as a couple, or you want just to find some pubas, you know, and uh, have a little bit of uh, time off during the night. As you see, all of the bars are getting ready for the aperitivo, and that's, you know, the way to eat on a chip because you can have um, for 10 euros, 12 euros, aperitivo, which includes one drink and all you can eat uh, food from the bar. Uh, to come here, you get uh, the metro and you go to Porta Genova, which is uh, just probably 100 meters from here. Very easy going. Uh, price wise, it's not too bad actually. Uh, it's not that expensive, it's not as expensive uh, for sure as uh, uh, the center of Milan. So I really suggest this area. It has plenty of character and uh, it's a lovely place to stay, to live, and to visit. And with this area, I close this video. I really hope you enjoy the uh, Milan, you enjoy the video. If you want, you can subscribe, leave a comment, like this video, and hopefully I'm gonna come back with a new one very soon for a new destination. See you soon. Running out that door.